Easy now, folks. I removed this BioFlow filter from the Jorio, the internal filter it comes with, and replaced it with the FX2 that Hagen sent me out to try. And a few people have asked me how I did it. So obviously I recorded the whole thing and I reckon the best way of telling is showing. So let's see how I did it. Preparation is everything. So I had to gather my tools and luckily Mrs. DKF had loads of filter removing tools that looked a wee bit like kitchen utensils. So I was looking for something thin enough to get between the gas and the filter, solid enough to cut through the uh, silicon and also something with a rounded edge, so it was unlikely to scrape the glass. So I've got three or four things that I could try out. I'll show you what I ended up with. I actually ended up using two or three of the items, in fact. The first of which being this filter removing tool that is styled exactly like a cake slice. Had all the ingredients, all the elements that I wanted, plus a slightly serrated edge down one side which helped to chop through the silicon. So I eased it into position being careful not to scratch the glass as I did and as it started touching the silicone I kind of added a wee bit more force and pressure slowly and gently as I went and changed up the angle every now and then worked my way around. It was worth doing that and taking the time to do it carefully because we don't want to have a mishap but certainly a lot easier than I thought it was going to be actually it was easier to remove the whole filter in the end than I thought it was going to be you'll notice I'm doing this with a tank that has been established and set up for a long long time but you can of course do it before you fill the tank up when you first get the aquarium probably easier however i hadn't planned to be doing this i was quite happy with the bioflow i thought it worked fine i was happy with results it was only because i was sent that other filter that i changed it out and it is an upgrade if i'm honest with you but yeah nothing wrong with the, the bioflow as it was and that's why my plans changed and why i'm now trying to get this filter out with <laughs> a tank full of fish and plants anyway i started with the lower front side fixing and then moved up to the one at the top same sort of principle same way i did that just gently pushing the cakes i mean filter removing tool through the silicone wee bit at a time and changing the angle so i could get a better result all the time i'm going at a measured pace and being really really careful that i don't scratch the glass with those two bonds released, I had a slightly bigger gap to work with now, and I was able to get my filter removing tool shaped like a kitchen spatula and pretty much push straight through the silicone top right. It really didn't take any time or effort at all for that one. There's two more blobs of silicone at the top at the rear, and I was able to use the same thing again. I wasn't being as careful, I must admit, about the back of the tank here. Perhaps I should have been, but as you can see, I've got a 3D background going some other way. Now this filter's coming out, it's going to leave a gap, but I think I'm going to patch it up. Anyway, see how that popped through? No worries. So now we're left with three pieces of silicon. That one there on the right, and another two on the back of the filter at the rear. And at this point, I started just giving it a wee wiggle just to kind of give a sense of how hard they were going to hold fast. If you can see the white patches appearing, that one was wanting to let go. I also tried to get my spatula tool in there, but the, the gap just wasn't big enough at this point. If you've got a nice long pallet knife, something like that, that might work. I had tried to keep the filter on and running for as long as possible just to take best care of my biological media that I'm going to move into the other filter, right? But it was time to start removing that. The filter is going to be full of water and heavy enough without the media to have to contend with as well. Obviously, if you're removing the filter before you've even set the tank up, that's not an issue. But for me, time to toss it in a bucket and fill it full of tank water to keep it wet at least. 
until I'm going to transfer it. I should have pulled out the heater at that point as well, but didn't. However, a nice firm tug, and out comes the filter. Last couple of bits of silicone just popped away. Out the heater comes now then, and because the tank is full, the trick is to lift the filter gently up because obviously it's still full of water and there's not a great amount of holes not a great amount of space for the water to escape from just the vents which uh took a wee bit of time it's heavier than it looks as well so gently does it and once it was light enough i was able to tip it up and just pour the rest of the water out being careful not to sling it down the back of the tank and all down the wall of course that's the job done though like I say, much easier than I thought it was going to be. However, we've got another step to go look at. One more thing to do before the job is totally finished. Half of the silicone is still attached to the glass, isn't it? So we need to remove it. Like I said, I was going to put a 3D background on this, so this that will cover them ones up, but I figured I'd get rid of as much as I could and then do a good job on the sides. So I use this scraper tool with a a razor blade in it at first it was all right it wasn't as precise as i wanted though the best thing i found actually was just to use a naked razor blade a brand new one so it was nice and sharp and it did seem to help it by making sure the blade stayed wet kept dipping it in the water i preferred this method for one thing because i felt like i was more in control of how much pressure i was putting on the blade and if I was running into any troubles, maybe scratching the tank, which I didn't, I held it at slightly less than a 45 degree angle and it seemed to do the job fine. If you've got any fish that you might be concerned could gobble on the falling pieces of silicone and make yourself sick, I'd maybe hold a cloth underneath of it, but I don't think mine will. I think I'll probably spit it out, even if they do. Hope so, anyway. The other thing to point out when you're doing this is obviously be very 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 careful with your fingers but also make sure you don't hit the silicone running down the edges of the tank you don't want to interrupt the integrity there and maybe cause yourself a, a leak or even worse later on anyway the filter is out as you can see there's no more silicone on the glass i think i've done a good job gonna have to patch up that bit, bit at the back where the filter was but it has opened up a bit of space in the tank i've got that Big bit of bogwood floating up the top there, which I think I'm going to position in that corner. So, I hope that was useful to the people that asked and anyone else considering taking it out. If you've got any other tips, as normal, pop them in the comments below and help each other out, eh? Otherwise, I'm out. Later, 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 later.